This morning, Colorado's law enforcement community continues to mourn the loss of one of their own. 37-year-old state trooper William Medane was killed Friday night while responding to a crash on I-70. And this morning, we're learning more details about what led to his death. Denver 7's Micah Smith is live from the trooper's office this morning with the latest and information slow to come out about this one. It is Ryan Trooper Medane was helping with a crash involving a 22 year old woman and an 18 month old baby who were both ejected from their car. Another driver hit Medane while he was responding to that first crash. This happened on I 70 East at mile marker 324 near the Peoria exit. State investigators have not released details on that driver, but say they are continuing to gather evidence and this crash is still under investigation. The death of Trooper Medane is the second in just the past few months of a trooper on the side of the road. It's reasons like this that the state legislator enacted the move over for Cody laws after trooper Cody Donahue was killed two years ago. The bill's co-sponsor had hoped it would help prevent incidents like this from happening. It breaks my heart because not only did that trooper's family just lose someone, the person who killed him, his, his or her life will never be the same again either. So there are multiple lives that are going to never be the same because of accidents like this. And I wish just writing a law would solve these problems, um, but unfortunately it doesn't. If you would like to leave flowers, cards, or anything else for Trooper Medane, you can do that here at his office. This is 8200 US 85 in Commerce City. As you can see, his patrol car is out here for you to do so. Live in Commerce City, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And you can also donate money to his family. We posted more information on how to do that on the DenverChannel.com.